All right, so we're back again. So now we're going to talk about how you basically use your visions to plan and execute on these entrepreneurship goals. So Mike, go ahead and uh, elaborate a little bit more. Absolutely. So, um, you know, all of this is uh, a visual affirmation and, uh, you know, these can be as simple as a vision board, but look at any business who has a hundred page business plan. That's essentially the same thing. They are putting out there what their goals are, what they want to achieve, making it visual and going out and getting it to exactly the way they planned it. Look at how uh, complex business plans are made. You know, they have uh, complicated prospectuses of what they think they're going to sell, how much they think they're going to sell it for, and how much they think a bunch of expenses that haven't occurred yet are going to cost. And so they are creating the storyline of how they want to see their uh, business look like. And one can do the same thing for their life or even their own business. And you know, it's really great to have this and uh, you don't have to be a professional business plan writer to be able to put out for yourself or for your business, your goals and uh, your dreams that you will then affirm to the universe. And it will uh, come into fruition in a sooner time than you thought possible because it's what you look at every day. Like that's, so my vision board is located right by my bed. I see it every day and I look at it with gratitude. And gratitude is another topic I'm really excited to talk to you about, Cena. Um, you know, there's this uh, really wonderful power that's simply gratitude. And gratitude uh, enrolls everyone around you. It enrolls them to be in business with you, be in relationship with you, be in uh, any kind of transaction with you. The more gratitude you show, um, I think the more successful someone becomes. Makes sense. No, I, I definitely see that, like, they always say the hot, hot people that are greedy in business, you know, they get slaughtered where, you know, the people that are generous, uh, it's, it's a much better way to uh, prosper. Right. Because, you know, there's always somebody who's bigger, badder, richer than you. And if they think you're a pompous jerk, why would they want to deal with you? But if they think that you're a humble, gracious businessman, they want to do more business with you. Usually that's the case. Not yeah, always, but, yeah, no, and especially no. with relationships. I think I think that's the biggest problem too is as you get more and more success it kind of gets to your head and you become more arrogant and that really then turns people off and turns off opportunities and that's where things like emotional intelligence uh, really help businessmen and leaders uh, keep that humbleness about themselves yeah and that's something I need to work on <laughs> I definitely have uh, well, some... <laughs> something I can help no, and, and that's why I'm glad I'm having these conversations that's, with uh, you that's... yeah no, thanks, thanks. So, Good. And, you know, my conversations are meant to be educational to you, my friends, and uh, anybody who gets to hear me. Yeah, no, and this is great. I'm, I'm going to be happy to create these videos with you, and hopefully if you guys are watching this, like I said, we're going to be releasing videos where Mike kind of goes over his experience. Now, we're going to go ahead and make another video. I do want to talk about your success because you obviously became a millionaire at the age of what? How old were you when you became net worth of a million? I was 25. 25. So, like I said, I do want to kind of talk about, like, you know, what what went what went around, or what, like, how do you got what got you there, and now obviously you're worth a couple of million. You know, what let let you go through that. But let's go ahead and we'll start another video of just talking about how you first got to your first million, and now what you're doing to get to multiple millions, and how you're all able to bring it together with your education and uh, leadership courses that you took. Absolutely. We'll okay. To cool. That. So we'll start another video. <laughs>